Hey there, hey, it's Aaliyah Janae. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in my last video, I talked about my intentional year of singleness and how that led to um, meeting Alan at the end of the year of singleness and all of that. And in the last video, I mentioned that he and I went our separate ways at one point. And y'all, I gotta be honest with y'all, okay? I gotta tell y'all the truth, okay? And I talked to him, I asked him for permission. I said, babe, can I share this? And he was like, absolutely, go ahead and tell him. So I'ma let y'all know. He straight up ghosted me. Like I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. Like for real, for real, he fell off the face of the earth and ghosted me. On Valentine's Day. So we're gonna talk about that I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about it i'm gonna do my makeup we're gonna talk about it let's get into it so a little back story a little back you know information so he and I met at the tail end of um, 2018. <laughs> yeah, we met um, in December of 2018, which was my year of intentional singleness. In 2019, we hung out a few times, um, did some photo shoots at the beginning of the year. So like January and February. And then we didn't really talk, um, but we weren't, you know, we weren't like dating or anything like that. Like at this point, it is a photographer and wannabe model relationship only, right? So um, we didn't really talk for a few months. Um, just, you know, every now and then, you know, hello or whatever. Um, or just a like on Instagram or Facebook. Um, but no, nothing serious, no real conversation. Um, and then he hit me up on my birthday in 2019. And I was like, oh my gosh, you remembered my birthday. Um, I mean, my birthday is two days before his, but I'll be honest, I remember his birthday. <laughs> like, I remembered that it was close to mine, but I couldn't tell you how close. I just knew. Yeah, it's around mine. I couldn't tell you if it was before or after or any of that. I just knew it's around my birthday. Um, so when he uh, reached out on my birthday, I was like, okay, cool, um, thanks. Uh, and then we just started talking more, like all of a sudden, we just started talking more. Um, and uh then you know he was like oh we should hang out and i'm like okay cool um what do you want to do and so we ended up going bowling and we went to dinner and this is what he claims is our first date i do not say that it was our first date because he never said date he never called it a date and i'm one of those people i'm very much so um I mean I have an English degree like I need you to use your words and your words like I hang on to every word so if you said we hanging out we're hanging out like it's not a date um, so uh, at the end of it the next day I actually reached out to him and was like hey do you have a Zell and he's like you know yeah and I actually sent him the money back. Like I sent him, well, like half. I like paid for like half of it. So I was like, you yeah, know, this isn't a date. And I don't want to get my feelings involved. And he accepted it. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but later on, sometime after that, um, not long, like maybe a week or two, um, we hung out again and then again um at some point i can't remember exactly when but at some point 
in our texting conversations, he kept calling me cute. And again, I'm very much so um, particular when it comes to words, like I hang on to every word. And so I asked him for clarity. I was like, hey, you keep calling me cute. Um, what do you mean by this? Like cute as in ha ha, you're adorable or cute like you like me. <laughs> like, cause like, I don't got time to be playing this guessing game, you know, like tell me what it is. And so he was like, no, like I like you. Cool. Ain't said nothing but a word, right? So now we're going on dates, okay? Now we are like officially dating, okay? But we don't have a title, right? This ain't that, we don't have a title. We're just going on dates. And you know, I, you know I'm not trying to be too, um, naggy or pressuring but in my head i'm like yo like what are we doing you know like what's going on what are we doing why are we doing it all that good stuff um and he just was like you know in in time you know whatever like and i had already dealt with a similar kind of relationship where i just kind of got the run around and all of that and I wasn't really trying to do that again so um I just kind of in my mind like kept my distance like not um like I still talk to him and everything but emotionally and all that just kind of kept my distance whatever it was cool um I went to Colorado for Christmas and we talked the entire time I was there um and then because I went there for one of my one of my really good friends um my a one since day one um I went to her wedding or I was in her wedding and then I caught the bouquet like it was just a whole lot <laughs> um and but he and I literally like we were talking the entire time I was on this trip and everything and it was great I get home and we're still like cool everything is good everything is hunky dory then february comes he's not talking to me as much I'm like okay cool and then next thing you know it's valentine's day and i can't remember if he texts me or if i text him but either way one of us texts the other like happy valentine's day and the other one responded happy valentine's day and that was it like we never talked again like that was it and the type of person I am I'm not gonna chase nobody okay like I'm not gonna chase I'm just not I'm just not gonna chase nobody so either you're here or you're not okay so I was like all right cool like I went about my life like continued on with my life like you're not about to stress me out I'm good so then he um fast forward a little bit um I it's now April and I am um starting my YouTube channel so I started posting videos and stuff like that you know all that good stuff and he subscribes to my YouTube channel what are you doing sir I thought you didn't even exist anymore <laughs> so he subscribes to my YouTube channel and he starts like commenting on my videos and I'm just like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> okay, like, you know, I'm not gonna like block him or nothing. Like, it's still support. Um, and I know who he is. Like, I'm not like, you know, a stranger or anything like that. I just was like, what is going on? So, he's doing all of that. He's liking all my videos. He's liking all my Instagram posts. He's liking all my Facebook posts. 
And I'm talking to one of my friends like, girl, I am confused. Like, what is happening? And then out of nowhere, he messages me. He texts me. And he's like, hey, this is Alan. Um, I wanted to tell you, like, I had some um, photos of you that I had re-edited and, you know, wanted to send them to you, blah, blah, blah. Now, your girl, y'all pray for me. Okay, I've come a long way, but your girl don't really sugarcoat a lot. Okay, so I was like, I know who you are. <laughs> you didn't have to tell me who you are. I know who you are. Um, <laughs> like, I am fully aware. You don't have to introduce yourself. I didn't delete your number. Like, I know you're probably thinking that I did, but I'm just not that kind of a girl. So, I, I still have your number. I didn't delete your number. Like, you're good. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, send me the pictures. Dope. So, he does. And I was like, can I ask you something? <laughs> and he's like, anything. Like, go ahead. And I was like, why do you keep liking all my stuff? <laughs> I literally was like, what the heck are you doing? And he he never actually really answered. Well, he did. He said that I was like really talented. But then he goes on this a lot. Like when I say he sends like the longest like essay apologizing and all this stuff. And at the end of it, he's like, I know you didn't ask for this, but I needed to say it while I had the chance. Blah, blah, blah. Again, pray for your girl. Because I was like, yeah, I didn't ask for <laughs> Like, yeah, I didn't ask for all of that, but thanks. <laughs> and then, and then he was like, he asked me, he's like, um, so can we, can we still be friends? And I was like, no. <laughs> I straight up told this man, no. I was like, no, uh, -uh no. Like, we can, <clears throat> like, we can't be friends like because I've already gone past that you've gone past that we are no longer at the friend level so like if you want to like be something cool like if you want to actually date and be something like I am open to that but we're like if that's not what you want to do then we don't need to talk like ever again like just not like let's not even waste each other's time because in my mind i'm not even gonna lie i felt it in my spirit okay i felt it i felt like he was really just asking to be friends just to get his foot in the door so that he could work his way back up and i was just like let's just save you the time save me the time and let's just go straight into being something because i don't have time to be playing all these games so he was like okay um do you mind if we talk in person and i'm like sure so that's what we do we talk in person um i know i used random i know i used this color as my inner color inner corner color last time but i'm gonna use it again because it's just so cute like i just love this color so much but anyway <laughs> um so we met up in person and baby so he came to pick me up i get in his car i literally did not look at him the entire time i was in the passenger seat while he was giving his whole little speech because and I was able to tell him this later, but because I find him very attractive and I was like, no, you know, I'm not even going to trick myself and look at you. And then, you know, now I'm feeling some type of way because you're handsome. Like, no, I need to listen to what you have to say with a clear mind without the distraction of your good looks. So I know he was probably like, what the heck is wrong with this chick? Like she's got in my car and will not look at me like she just keeps staring out into the distance. Um, but there was a method to my madness. Um, pause real quick. I'm going to go do my eyeliner and my lashes and I'll be back.
to finish the rest of the story. <laughs> and we are back. Face is done. Um, so got in the car with Alan. Wouldn't see, wouldn't look at him. Just wanted to listen to his little spiel. And in this spiel, when I tell you this man knew what he wanted, and that was all right with me. Um, you know, he apologized and everything. He explained why he fell off the face of the earth. He uh, said that he, you know, he told me that he'd been praying. He'd been reading books. He doesn't even really like reading, but he'd been reading books, praying and all of that stuff. And he had come to the conclusion that he does not just want me to be his girlfriend. He wants me to be his wife. He gives me a timeline. He says within the next year to two years, this is what I want, period. And I was like, okay. <laughs> because the thing is like, he didn't just fall off the face of the earth like in attempt to hurt me or anything like that. And I didn't feel hurt. Like I didn't feel any type of way. I just was like, he's probably trying to figure himself out and get himself together. And that's exactly what he was doing. Um, and he was doing a wonderful job with it and getting himself together and everything. And when you are so used to men playing the games and doing the, oh, you know, maybe one day we'll become a couple. <laughs> um, you know, maybe one day we'll be official, all of that. When there's a man that says, this is what I want, I know I have decided I have, and, and men are very uh, interesting creatures, um, but they know, like, they're, they're a lot more decisive than we are. Like, when they want something, that's just, that's it, that's all. They want it, they know what they want, they gonna go after it, and that's, that's the end of it. And so, I knew that he was very much so serious. Um... He was not playing games and here we are i mean he proposed not long after that um after we got into a relationship official relationship um and here we are about to get married so i'm not saying every dude who ghosts you that's gonna be your husband mm -mm. nope and every dude who ghosts you and comes back is not um coming back with the right intentions so you know, you got to use that discernment that the Lord gives, that the Holy Ghost gives, and follow the leading of the Holy Ghost and know, you know, is this for me? Is this not? I mean, I prayed hard about him, us, all of that. Um, and I just felt peace about it. Um, I have not felt anything other than peace. So yeah he ghosted me y'all but we get married so he couldn't stay gone for long <laughs> um yes so <laughs> i hope you like this video if you do leave a like subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you can be notified of any upcoming videos um comment down below you know have you had any crazy relationship stories any um people that ghosted you and didn't come back um people that ghosted you and came back incorrect um let me know i want to hear it i want to talk i want to dialogue i love you and jesus loves you so much more and remember you will never overcome that which is hidden and you will not conquer what you refuse to confront Let's break some chains, y'all.